Susie here. Um, I hope you guys are having a fantastic week. Uh, sorry, it has been almost a week since I posted my last video. Had a crazy week. That week is over. Now I have a little more time. So that means new videos, new challenges. Hopefully you're keeping up with the challenges, both the food and with the workouts. Um, we are going to do some cardio, lots of strength-based moves. So it's gonna be using your own body weight as resistance. Um, so we're gonna be doing some mountain climbers, we're gonna be doing some plank jacks, and we're also gonna do some core work. Now all of these things, they're gonna use multiple muscle groups, so you're gonna get a great workout. You're gonna be working upper body, you're gonna be working lower body, you're working core. Um, so you're working everything in your body, even your face, because you're gonna be grunting, you're gonna be squinching up your face. So working your face muscles too, maybe you won't get wrinkles. So. We're gonna start down on the ground. We're gonna start with mountain climbers. Now, if you need to, you can actually do a standing mountain climber if you're a beginner and you don't wanna take it down on the ground or if you have high blood pressure, then what you would do for a standing mountain climber is you would actually climb like this. And I know that sounds crazy, but that's where people need to go if they're more beginners and um, they don't wanna get down on the ground because your blood pressure will go down um, once you're down on the ground. So what I want you to do is come down on the ground. You're gonna have your hands stacked underneath your shoulders. Your body is in a straight line. You're gonna take one leg up, then the other. So you're extending. Your core is strong the entire time. So you're gonna do this for 30 seconds. You're gonna do that three times. After you do that, what you're gonna do is you're gonna do some plank jacks. You're gonna come down in the same position. Now, if you want to, you can take it to a regular plank. If you're more of a beginner, come down on your knees and hold it here. Hands are underneath your shoulders. You're in a straight line. So holding it here. You want to take it more advanced. You can either take it here to where you're on your hands and you're going out to the side, taking it back in, out, in, out, in, or you can bring it down on your elbows. Hands are clasped. Out, in, out, in. I think that the ones on the forearms are harder, personally, and so those are the ones I enjoy, but you take it where you want to go. Next are abs. So we're coming down on the ground. You're going to have your hands wide. What I want you to do is take your left foot up in the air. You're going to reach for your toe, take it down. You're going to do 20 on this side, and you're going to take it to the other side, 20. Just like that, three times, or three sets. Then I want you to take it to a double crunch clamshell. So hands are gonna come behind the head, bring your heels together to touch. Exhale, bring the toes down, tap, down, tap. You wanna make sure that you have a good space in between your chin and your chest, and you're actually lifting through your shoulder blades and your abs, not with your head. So if you notice you're using your head, Place your hands on your chest and take it up like this. You may get a way better workout and your abs will show through a lot faster because sometimes whenever we're using um, the hands behind the head, we have a tendency to actually crunch the head and you're not crunching your abs. So you're gonna do three sets um, of the mountain climbers, 30 seconds each. Then you're gonna go and you're gonna do the plank jacks. You're gonna do 20. You're gonna do those um, three times as well. And then you're gonna do the single leg jackknife 20 times on each side, 20 of the clamshell crunch three times, cause three is the magic number, 20 is also the magic number. So I hope you have a great day. I hope you take the challenge and I will see y'all later, bye.